Hello everyone, it's Steve Bradley here from Newton, Georgia, mounting a deer head while enjoying watching the episode of Outdoor with the Morgans. So if you like, hit the like button, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Have a good day. Welcome back everyone, Mike here. This evening I'm going to saw a little bit more of this red pine. Uh, this big pile you see here in front of me is what I have so far. Well, some of it. I have some more. But I've got some siding boards in there. I've got some 2x6s, uh, 2x4s, two two and some 2x10s. Question I had for you guys, what would be a good sealant, like a finish for these? Uh, you know, they're going to be exposed to the weather. Red pine is probably not... The number one choice so i need something good to put on this i'm hoping to start building these uh drying sheds maybe this weekend we'll see what the weather is but let me know in the comments what would be uh a good sealant to put on this some people use like uh, diesel fuel and kerosene mix or i'm sorry kerosene and motor oil but just something maybe even put it on with an airless sprayer what's a real good sealer that will help protect this stuff from the uh from the elements these logs, they're not real big, but uh, you get a lot of them out of one tree. I'll get at least six 10-footers out of each one. This one is only about uh, right at 12 inches in diameter, 10 feet long. Every time you are, uh, you're done using this mill, you have to release the tension off the blade. What I'm going to do tonight, a lot of people ask about the uh, power feed on this mill and uh, if it has it. Yes, it does. They said sometimes it looks like we're pushing on it. Well, what happens is you're kind of leaning down and bending forward so you can see what the blade's doing. And you just kind of lean on it a little bit, but it is power feed. I'll show you that here in a second. knob here get better at uh, keeping all these slabs kind of organized. What happened before was you just end up throwing them in a big pile. So I put them on a couple stringers now. I'll pile them up, maybe band them together, and if somebody wants them, uh, you know, it'll be easy to load them out. This pine, I'm not really going to use for firewood, only the hardwoods. 
That is her second time ever running this mill. You did fantastic. Did you notice at the end though, you have to remember, shut off the power feed, because that's when it's- Yeah, I'm trying to remind myself which is most important. Yeah, you don't- <laughs> It's like driving off a cliff. What do you want to do first? You did really, really good though. You I did. I let go of the speed, disengage the blade, let go of the I'm going forward button. Yeah. Yeah. You did great. So, Let's yeah. see what we got out of that one. So that uh, one log was 12 inches in diameter. Eight or nine? Uh, eight. We got eight boards and they are about uh, nine and a half inches wide. That's, that's really good. That's a pretty good yield out of that. Oh, and we have one, one two by 10 on the mill. So, what do you think, Piper? So Can eight one inch off? siding boards and one two by 10. The dogs aren't really, Oh yeah, they're not sure of that. They're not really a fan of the hole. Now Stan, he'd be right in the middle of all that. Yeah. Whenever you, uh, whenever you flip that log 180, boy, they both jump. You know what yeah. I mean? They're like, what's she doing? They're pretty, they're pretty uh, cautious and like to be safe. Jinx the cat there. She, uh, she goes for walks with Melissa and the dogs. It's hilarious. But man, I can't say anything. I mean, I shouldn't criticize her, but that cat like doubles her weight each winter. She does. And then... She does. <laughs> hey, Jinx. Jinx. She does. She's busy. She's a, she's a ninja. She appears and then she disappears. It's funny. I'll be like out in the woods somewhere and like, whoa, there goes the cat. You know, I don't know what keeps her going. Well, when I'm walking the dogs, I get to thinking, is someone following me? And I'll, I look, I don't see her. Keep walking. You feel like someone's behind you, and then boom, out of nowhere, there's Jinx. I'm like, she's been, <laughs> she's been dodging trees and hiding the whole time until then she just appears. Like, this is fun. All right, so that's what we have for you. Thanks for tuning in. If you like these videos, click the thumbs up for like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, you'll get notifications. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And share these with your friends. That'd be great. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Chuck Papp is here from Southern Illinois. You just finished watching another episode of Outdoors with the Morgans. Click like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Have a day.